The Bible is plagiarized. They kept out a lot of the stuff in the modern day Bible. God is actually mistranslated as God singular, when in true reality, when you go to the back into the ancient text, it's really God's with an S. They took off the S to make it the monotheistic mindset. When you read the Enuma Elish and the Atrahasis epic, you realize that they copied all that ancient text and put it into Old Testament of the modern day Bible. It's all written in stone. These have been translated since the 1800s. So Cambridge and the British Museum have translations. And then UCLA did an amazing thing. There's over a million tablets that have now been you know, out there and they've got hundreds of thousands translated. UCLA cataloged all the tablets digitally online and made an online tablet translator called a UCLA CDLI Cuneiform Digital Library. And you can go there and take a tablet off the shelf and drop it into a translator and read it for yourself. They're real tablets and I've done lectures on this for the last, I don't know, four or five years. These tablets are amazing because this is as close as we're gonna get to the truth. And they're talking about beings living and other planets coming to this planet, engaging mankind, teaching mankind about weapons, war, genetically modifying humans to, for the purpose of turning us into slaves to do a lot of the labor for them and uh, living on Mars. The most recent version is back around 6,000 to 7,000 years ago, which is why people who believe in the Bible believe the Earth is only 6,000 years old because the story is copied from 6,000 year old tablets. That's the beginning of the creation of the Earth is in the Enuma Elish. That's actually the creation of our entire solar system is in there. The Earth is just a small part. According to the Book of Enoch, which is one of the apocryphal books left out of the Bible, but he's important because he's mentioned in the Bible, these beings came from heaven to Earth and then they even named, they have names. They taught human beings how to technology, how to make weapons, how to even make beer and all this other crazy stuff. And then they took Enoch on a trip to the Earth's atmosphere and beyond. And he saw the Earth and the shape of the planet as a sphere. And he saw that he was living on a giant ball and then brought him back. This is all in the book of Enoch. The only Bible that has the Book of Enoch in it is the Ethiopian Bible. It's the only Bible in the world that actually incorporated the Book of Enoch into their canonized text. The rest of the Bibles omitted the Book of Enoch. The wars of these gods can be found in the Book of Deuteronomy. These are the Atlantean wars that everybody's trying to figure out what happened. It's in the Book of Deuteronomy in the Bible. The, all the wars are right there. The modern day Bible, anybody can go open their Bible and go, oh, Deuteronomy, let me read this. They don't read it, especially in Bible study. But the reason why is because you have God, which is actually God's plural, going to war against other gods in other towns and cities and other regions of the planet and sending human beings to these places to go to battle and sending angels with them with battle gear on to fight and kill. And the words are, go there, get in, kill the women, kill the children, kill the animals if need be. And if you see any women that you like, you can rape them. These are the exact words used. I want you to get a Bible and look it up. And if you decide you rape them, if you decide you want to keep them as wife, you can take them. But bring the spoils of war back to me. This was these internal battles going on from one region of the world to another region of the world, stealing and fighting over humans and resources. These people have become so evil fighting against each other and utilizing human beings as chattel. And that's all in the Book of Enoch. These aren't exactly the stories that... Uh, you know, described. I don't think it's talking about the creator of the universe in that book. When I started Googling and trying to find if anybody was looking at these anomalies, I came across information about the Anunnaki. 